Hi, I'm Dr Laponce. I'm going to give you some more information about the BTEC Level 3 National Certificate in Applied Science that we are running for Year 12 this year. So some key information, it is the BTEC qualification done by the Examination Board Pearson. It will be 180 guided learning hours over one year. And the UCAS points are equivalent to one AS level. OK, so that ranges from eight to 28 UCAS points, depending if you get pass, merit, distinction or distinction star in this course. The number of lessons are five per week. And the course breakdown, it's 50 percent examination and 50 percent coursework. So because this is the AS level equivalent, it does mean that there's made up of two units. One unit is examined and the other unit is purely coursework. That's how the course is set up. I'll go through how those units are broken down with you. Unit one, principles and applications of science. This is a theoretical unit that builds on what you have studied at GCSE and takes you to A-level standard. You'll be working on exactly the same concepts as pupils studying A-levels in biology, chemistry and physics, but you can be safe in the knowledge that your assessments will be much shorter and chunked up. OK. Unit two is practical scientific procedures and techniques. An introduction to advanced practical techniques, the likes of which are actually used in industry. It's a great opportunity to develop and showcase your practical and report writing skills. The assignment briefs within each practical unit have real world scenarios written with local employers in that field, and they require you to collect data using practical methods, present your findings, and then include with that an evaluation of the method that you used. To summarise that then, it's about doing the practical, collecting really precise data, presenting it in uh, an accessible format, and then evaluating what you've done. And it's set up in such a way that you could imagine you're doing that sort of breadth of work and that sort of cycle in a, in a real scientific company or, or, or in industry. Who's the course suitable for? for? The entry requirements are five GCSEs at grade four or above, including combined science, English and maths. This course is ideal for students who are looking for another level three qualification to complement their larger engineering or creative digital media qualification. So with respect to doing this alongside creative digital media, it is a less common route, but we have some students who study sciences alongside their CDM qualifications. Um, and we tend to find higher education and employers are always impressed by a candidate who can demonstrate creative skills, but also keen logic and problem solving required for scientific study. So it sets you apart from any competition. Of course, a prerequisite for this is that you've always enjoyed sciences at GCSE. Where this course is very different from GCSE is how you will be expected to work in an independent way to complete practicals. So you're going to be following uh, the method to the letter, but then collecting that data in a systematic way. So it's not just doing going through the practical once and going, right, I've experienced that. It's actually the systematic working through independently yourself and then making sure you've got all the data you need. So you're collecting that evidence and then you present it just as you would as if you were working in the real world. Here's this course for what would you be looking for progressing into? Well, um, a job degree or apprenticeship in science or engineering. But really, and this refers to people who potentially are doing a CDM and want it to do alongside that as well. It's a qualification that will open doors for you, but not at the expense of other opportunities. 
What I mean by that is if that you're, you're unsure of the route you want your education to take at the moment, it's an excellent choice to keep your options open. So the resources you'll need, this isn't so much things you need to buy, it's more the attitude you're going to come with you, bring with you to the course. So I've written folders, colour dividers and more folders. So BTEC Nationals are demanding, they are demanding of your organisation and your time and you have to be organised. You need to keep and file your notes in an organised manner that you can refer back to them. You'll keep a portfolio of all your assignments and the work and data that you've collected to complete those assignments. And actually, of course, we will provide you with the physical folders, but I'm talking about your arriving on day one with that independent and organised attitude that this work, um, you've got ownership of it. This is your work, your evidence that you are collecting to prove what you're capable of. I've listed as well tools to help you research, sift through and select relevant information. So for me, that would be a bunch of highlighters and loads of coloured pens and everything printed out on paper for me to read and highlight and draw circles around. OK, but people work in lots of different ways. So you need to work out what works for you. So when you've done research tasks, when you've had to choose what is relevant and what isn't, what has worked for you and bring that with you. Last of all, scientific calculator, you'll be performing a lot of multi-step calculations to analyse the data you're collecting. So you need to have your calculator with you for every, less, every lesson. We will give you clear methods on how to do those calculations, but you need to have the correct equipment with you to get that completed. That wraps up my overview of the Level 3 National Certificate in Applied Science. If you have got more questions, and I'm sure some of you will, this is a new course we're running for Year 12 at UTC Sheffield City Centre. So you may be interested in what that's going to look like because you've not seen other students doing it before in older years. So with those questions, just drop them to me at the email address shown below here and I'll get back to you with those. OK, thank you for showing interest in this course and I look forward to seeing how you combine this with your other options.